Hello and welcome to DVX UI. Today on this channel, we are going to create a very simple website. Now, this website is for beginners, for those who never touched Figma, but want to learn it. And I'm here with you all to share this design and help you learn how to design in Figma. So let's begin. Before moving to the actual design, let's understand what I have on my screen. So over here, I have all my pages, which are named as design, YouTube and learn. Then I have my layers. If I design a layer or I put a layer like this, it will appear over here. And you can also notice that something has appeared on the right panel. Now, these are the parameters through which you can control the look and overall appearance of this element. Suppose if I increase the height to 500, Let's do this. The height is increased. So this is how this right panel works. Now let's remove this and get ourselves a frame. Well, this is actually a frame, but we need a different one. So hit delete. And you also have noticed when I press delete, delete has appeared over here. So this is the only work of this black box over here. This says the keys that I'm pressing aloud so that you will know what shortcuts I'm using while designing. So I think it is clear and we are good to go. So let's get a frame first. So for that, click on this grid icon. And over here, you will see desktop. I'm going to select MacBook Pro 16. Let's get this one. And I want to provide some corner radius to this. Let's provide a corner radius of 24. Now this looks better. And I also provide some guidelines so that my design remains consistent and it looks also good. For that, I'm going to go to this layout grid. Make sure you have selected your frame. Click here. Then on this grid icon. From grid, you need to select columns. And in the count, you need to put 16. Then in the margin, put 100. Now it is done. We are done with the guidelines. Let's move to the next part, which is to get a picture for ourselves. For that, what we can do is, we can open a new tab, go to free pick, and here search for 3D images. Well, let me sign in first. Now let's type 3D and search for it. Now as you can see, we have a lot of pictures which are 3D. You can use any of them in your designs. Suppose if I want to use this picture, I can go here. Then I can use this remove background feature to remove the background. And now I can download it as a PNG. So this is how you can get a picture. But in my case, I already have mine. So I'm going to use that one and I'm also going to provide the picture link that I'm using in the description. So make sure you check it out. Let's go back to Figma. Now behind the scene, I have copy pasted one more layer as you can see over here, which is resources. And let's go to this resources. And it contains my picture and the primary color that I'm going to use in this design. So let's select this picture, copy it and paste it on my design. Well, if you double click on this grid icon over here, it will zoom it to fit your screen. Let's align this picture. Take it from here and randomly put it here. Now let's start working on the nav bar first and then gradually we will move to the next part of this design. So for the nav bar, the first thing that we need is the name of the website. Well, looking at this picture, I can only think of comfort. So let's, why not go with the comfort? So take a text element, drop it on the frame and write comfort. I know it is not visible, so I'm going to increase the size. Let's say 50, okay, 59 it is. So we have our comfort word over here. Now I also need to convert it into a logo. So what I can observe is in this C, as you can see, 
we can insert this O inside this C to create a some sort of logo. Well, this is complete raw thinking. I'm not going into the logo design because we are concerned with the web design only. So for that, let's remove this. Let's take C and put it here. Well, remember that I'm following these guidelines. So you also need to do that. Let's increase the size to 80. Let's see if it looks good. Partially it looks good. Now I'm going to copy paste this and I'm going to write the rest of the letters of comfort. I'm going to reduce the size and let's make it medium. Put it inside the C. And I'm going to give our primary color to this C. Yeah, it really looks good. Well, let's take a text again and write nav links for this website. So I'm going to write home, copy it, and then I'm going to write work, copy it, then pricing. And then about now you might be thinking that these are quite large for the nav links well we are going to work on them by selecting all of them together so let's select all of them and let's decrease the font size first for that I'm going to go with 20 of medium font weight and then I'm going to select them again and use this auto layout feature you can also call auto layout by doing right click and selecting this option add auto layout or just pressing shift a key now what is the benefit of auto layout is we don't need to do much while arranging them in a horizontal or a vertical manner for example in this case I want them to be arranged in a horizontal manner for that, I'm going to go to this arrow, click it, and now they are arranged in a horizontal manner. I also want the width to cover the end to end of these text. So this is done. And the gap between them should be about 80. So this is done. Now to denote that we are on the home page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the home and change its fill color. To the primary color well now we need to arrange this over here for that first of all I'm going to use this alignment tool to align it horizontally center on this frame now I want to place it over here for that I'm going to hold shift and press the arrow up key to move it faster otherwise it will move slower as you can see so hold shift and move it faster. Since our nav links are done, let's move to the next part, which is designing a button to register. Now here I want to point out one beginner mistake that every beginner does is whenever making a button, they select a rectangle and they create a button like this. And then they will put the text inside this button, which is a wrong approach. Let me tell you a better approach. So delete this button, take a text and write register. 20 medium is okay. Now right click on this text and use add auto layout. So an auto layout has been added to this text. It is not visible to you. So let me change the fill color. So the fill color is going to be the primary color of our design. Now the button has created. Now what is the benefit of this auto layout? The primary benefit of this auto layout using as a button is if I increase the font size to let's say 50, the button adapts to the height and width of this text, which is quite amazing. And this is how you should make your buttons. Now let's go back to the original size. And let me adjust the paddings. 
Let's zoom it. For the horizontal padding, I'm going to give it 28. And for the vertical padding, I'm going to give it 12. And for the corner radius, it is going to be 8. Now, this register is going to be of color white. So in the fill, make sure you have selected the text, not this box. So in the fill, you're going to remove this and write FF and hit enter. Six Fs is a hex code for the white color. And if you write double F and hit enter, the Figma understand that you want white color. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can also write white here. This also means six Fs, which is white. So let's take our button and randomly place it over here. So this looks good. Now let me arrange them. So for that, I'm going to provide the auto layout to all the element of the nav bar. For that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first of all group them. So select both of this text and then group together. Let's name this group here. I'm going to call it logo. And now select all of these and provide an auto layout from here. You can also use right click or shift A. Now, if you hover over here, you will see align center. Now, if I click it, the auto layout element will be aligned at the center. So this is done. Now I can move it and they will move together. So this is the benefit of auto layout. Now let's move to the next part of this design, which is to write the hero text. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the text and write, we give you, I need another text. So control C, control V, which is copy paste and write work comfort. Now the size of this text is going to be 54. Align it with this rectangle, which is our guideline. You can also turn this off by selecting your frame and clicking on this eye icon. So this has been hidden. If I click again, it will appear again. And the size for this work comfort text is going to be 94. And the weight is going to be semi bold. Align this properly. And our hero text are done. Now we need some description text over here. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website, which is Lorem Ipsum. Copy this much, go to the design, take a text and paste it here. Well, obviously we need to change the weight and the size of this font. So for the size, let's go with 90 and for the weight, I'm going to go with regular. I'm adjusting the size. Place it over here. And now I'm going to copy some piece of text and place it. Well, this is something that I'm doing for the aesthetics of this website. It is not compulsory, but one thing that is compulsory is to use a text of two lines only. I've seen people using three or four line text. Well, this is a part of UX, which is user experience. The common observation is the user does not want to read after the third line. So you should not be using the third line or more than that. For me, I always use two lines and this looks perfect. Now I'm also going to decrease the opacity of this text from 100 to let's say 70. Well, now it looks good. Let's decorate our hero text a bit more. For that, I'm going to simply select this work and give it a primary color. 
and primary color to this dot as well. Now it looks good. Let's make it even better. So grab a text and write all furniture solutions and I'm going to give it a size of let's say 16 and from semi bold to medium well this looks very small so let's increase the font size to 80 now select your text and give it auto layout fill it with a color which is our primary color and let me zoom it first the fill is going to be of 20% and this text color is going to be of our primary color let's provide some corner radius to let's say 6 and let's align this this is good now we need CTAs CTAs are basically call to action button which are used to take quick actions on the website so for that let's take text again because if you remember for the buttons we use text and auto layout so grab a text and write talk to us and let's give the size 20 provide auto layout fill color of primary color the text color is going to be white and I also need an icon over here so for that I'm going to go to my plugins to the iconify if you don't see iconify in your figma what you can do is you can go to this manage plugin and here you can search for the plugins for me I have already installed this iconify you can also install it so just run it and in the search write call let's select a random icon the size is going to be 20 and the color is going to be white place it inside this button and now let's provide some padding to this button so for the horizontal padding it is going to be 22 and for the vertical padding it is going to be 12 let's give it a corner radius of 8 and randomly place it over here let's align this okay so yeah this is good now now we need another text and write C products select it give it a primary color and align it with the button Now let's remove this auto layout and see how our website looks. So let's hide it and our website looks quite great but it looks kind of empty. So now we are going to work on the decoration part of this website. For that let me first enable the auto layout again. So select the frame and show it. So this is okay. We are going to do something over here and something over here to avoid the feel of emptiness. So for that what I am going to do is, I am going to take a frame, place it over here, fill it with the primary color so that we can see it. The dimensions are going to be 194 of the width and the height is going to be 80. So this is perfect and the opacity of this container is going to be 20. The corner radius is going to be 100. Okay, this looks good. It might not be very visible to you, but it is fairly visible. So let's take another frame 
I have just pressed F on my keyboard to get a frame. You can also do that and drop it inside this capsule. Let's give it a fill color of white and let's decrease the size. The size is going to be 60 and using this clip icon due to which if I change the height, the width will also change. Let's provide a corner radius of 60. So in this way, you can turn a frame into a circle. Let's align it a bit. Okay, this is good. Now I need a heart shape icon. So I'm again going to the Iconify. And here I'm going to write heart. Let's find it. So we have it over here. Place it on the frame. Take it from here and put it here. The dimensions are going to be 25. Place it in the middle. I've just used this alignment tool to align it in the center. Now let's take a text and write here furniture. Font size is going to be 22. Copy it. And here write favorites. Let's change the size to 16. And put it here. Let's provide it semi bold. And let's change the color to primary color. This looks good. And now we need a text over here to fill this gap as well. For that, let's grab a text and write contact us at and let's put a random number over here. The font size is going to be 18 and it is going to be regular. Now let's align it and decrease the opacity to let's say 70. I think regular is quite sharp. We can use medium. So yeah, this is okay. Now let's hide the layout grid and see how it looks. Well, this looks good, but we can also do something which I'm thinking of. So let's do it. Let's grab an element, which is an ellipse. Drop it on the frame. Increase the dimension to 840. Provide it a fill color of primary color. And then an opacity of 20%. Now select your circle and you will see a little dot over here. You need to grab it and push it back. And then you need to select this ratio dot over here and push it inside. Now I'm going to close this by using these dots. So this is done. And here I'm going to place it over here. Move it to the back. Yes, this looks good. And this is how we have completed our design. So let's take a better look of this design. Randomly click on the canvas and then select this option which says so hide UI. You can also press Ctrl plus slash. Let's take a full screen view and let me increase the size. So now as you can see we have achieved our design and this was a fairly easy design. You can also make complex design using Figma. But since this is your start, I will only advise you to learn by doing things. Well since our website is done, it is time to say goodbye. We will meet in the next one.